Hi, I'm Sathana Samadrala here on AFD TV with Dr. Sam and David White, here to talk about options for individual health insurance. Great. So what are our options? So for individual health insurance, you have, um, you have a lot of options with a lot of insurance companies, but as far as where you're going to buy it, um, you have two choices. You can either get a plan on what we call the marketplace or healthcare.gov or the exchange, or if you're in a state that has their own state exchange through that, through that exchange, or you can go directly to an insurance company and buy directly from the carrier. It's all really going to depend on your income and whether or not you get a premium tax credit or a subsidy. So if you do get a premium tax credit, then you want to get it through healthcare.gov with an agent, of course, to help you guide guide your way through the process. Yes. Um, really, what, what we do is, you know, you're going to look at your income, and incomes really between 100% and 400% of the federal poverty level are eligible for a subsidy. Um, it's kind of a convoluted math formula, but basically that's the income range. And then between 100 and 250 percent of the federal poverty level for moderate to lower income, there's actually reduced out-of-pocket costs in addition to the premium subsidy that one can get that, for example, would reduce your deductible or would reduce your out-of-pocket max or reduce the co-pays when you go to the doctor or the co-pays when you have your drugs. So that, but that's only available on certain plans and only if your income is between 100 and 250 percent of the federal poverty level. So 100 and 250 percent of federal poverty, would that be Medicaid? No. Below one, in Tennessee, so depending on whether or not your state reformed Medicaid, sure. which Tennessee did not, okay. um, you would only qualify for Medicaid if your income is below 100 percent of the federal poverty level. So if somebody is 110 percent of the federal poverty level, then they can get they can get a marketplace plan and you would be highly subsidized um, and there would be probably bronze plans available at a zero premium. And then if you chose a silver plan, you would, we, you would get what we call the reduced cost share uh, plans or cost share reduction plans, which would lower your out-of-pockets and deductibles. So it's only available on select silver plans though. Oh, got it. Okay, so the fact that Tennessee didn't expand Medicaid is not a horrible thing in that patients who are at 120% can still get insurance. You can. Yes. Okay. Got it. That makes sense. And uh, so what is 100 to 400 percent? What's the income we're talking about now? Well, for a single person, the federal poverty level in 2015 is somewhere around 12,000-ish. And then 400 percent of that would obviously be around 48,000, right? For, or, for, for yeah. a family? What for, that would be one person. Sure. And then basically it goes up from there depending on the number of people you have in your household. Okay, so, so if somebody It wouldn't necessarily be, if you have two people, it's not two times the individual rate, uh, but it, it starts... So if somebody has up. six kids. Somebody has six kids. You can have quite a bit of income and still get a subsidy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, a, a typical family, say, mom, dad, and two kids, what is the uh, range about? That really depends a lot on the age, okay. because really your, your subsidy is going to be based on the premium of the second cheapest silver plan called the benchmark plan. Okay. If you're older, your premium's gonna be higher. So you would, rec you would qualify for a higher subsidy and the income levels that you could have and still get a subsidy would probably be a little higher than say if you were 20 years old. Oh, okay, so if you're older, you get a higher subsidy? That's right, because your premium is higher. Ah, that makes sense, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think the take home point here, um, I mean, I'm getting my insurance through work, but if I had to buy it individually, I would definitely go through you or yeah. an insurance, a licensed insurance agent. There's a lot to there's a lot to figure out. There's a lot of moving parts. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of good information out there. It's hard to find. Um, it's hard to find enough to really make sense of all these. Uh, and so, what we try and do is just make it easy for them. Oh, great, great. Well, uh, anything else you can think of? Okay, take it away. Yeah. Thank you for watching AFD TV. See you soon. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. AFD TV is designed to provide an educational discussion about current medical topics. For a personalized medical opinion, please consult your primary care physician or visit one of America's family doctors' clinics today.